Not only does lobster have a high nutritional value, but it is also an essential component of the culinary culture in the United States. Lobster is often considered to be one of the most opulent seafoods in the world. The annual production of lobster in the United States is close to 70,000 tons, and the value of lobster exported from the country exceeds $500 million. Known as the heart of the American lobster industry, Maine is responsible for more than 80% of the nation's production. As a result, the state has become a symbol of sustainability and the riches that are generated from the ocean. Every single fishing vessel conveys the tale of a long-standing and profitable industry, from lobsters that weigh more than 20 kilograms to the fisherman who works hard to catch them successfully. Join us as we explore the fascinating statistics and stories that lie behind the lobster industry in the United States, where seafood is more than simply a source of sustenance. It is a heritage of the sea. Discovering the priceless lobsters that are native to the United States is the quest that green agriculture technology is taking. The fishing season for lobster in the United States typically runs from June until December, with Maine being particularly busy during this time, since lobsters are at their highest quality. In some areas, such as Massachusetts, fishing is permitted throughout the entire year within the confines of stringent controls regarding size and ecological sustainability. This helps to guarantee a consistent supply for both domestic and foreign markets. Although lobsters are raised in sea cages in certain areas, aquaculture is confronted with a number of serious obstacles. Due to the fact that they have a modest growth rate and are extremely susceptible to sickness, their survival rate is quite low. There are just two lobsters that reach harvest size out of a total of 50,000 eggs after approximately seven years. In addition to the difficulties associated with aquaculture, the success of the American lobster industry can also be credited to the use of sustainable fishing practices. These methods contribute to the preservation of the environment and the maintenance of a consistent supply. One of the most important aspects that has contributed to the prosperity of the American lobster industry is the utilization of fishing techniques that are less harmful to the environment. Steel lobster traps are used by fishermen. These traps are created specifically for them, and they are constructed with solid steel frames and mesh coatings to ensure that they are durable underwater. There are distinct compartments set up inside the traps that are designed to contain lobsters without causing them any harm. There are limits that fishermen strictly adhere to regarding the number of traps that are permitted, which normally range from 300 to 800 traps per boat, depending on the size of the vessel and the licensing requirements. The implementation of these regulations guarantees fairness among fishermen and safeguards lobster supplies from being overfished. It is common practice for fishermen to utilize natural baits like herring, cod, or mackerel in order to attract lobsters. In order to attract lobsters to the traps, the aroma of the bait travels through the water and extends outward. It is not always the case that lobster traps only contain lobsters. The fishermen will occasionally discover other fish that have been trapped in the traps by accident. In the event that they are not required, these fish can either be retained or released back into the ocean. The entrances to these traps can be one or more, and they are designed to make it simple for lobsters to crawl in while simultaneously making it tough for them to escape. In addition, escape holes enable lobsters of a smaller size to leave on their own, which ensures the species' continued existence. In coastal seas, lobster traps are often placed at depths ranging from 10 to 150 meters, which is the depth range where lobsters are most common. Crevices and rocky seabeds are the best natural habitats for lobsters, so fishermen choose to fish in areas that have these characteristics. Long lines are used by fishermen to attach traps to marker buoys that are located on the surface of the sea. To get the highest possible catch rate, traps are set up from specialized fishing vessels and left to soak for a period of 24 to 48 hours. The traps are dragged up by hand or with the assistance of winches after the waiting period has passed. There are frequently many lobsters caught in these traps, and occasionally other crustaceans such as crabs, shrimp, or fish are there as well. It is possible to either release unwanted species back into the ocean or to keep them intact as bait. Lobsters are subjected to a thorough inspection using various tools in order to certify that they meet the minimum size and reproductive standards. Lobsters that are either too little or have eggs are released back into the ocean, which helps to preserve the environment. Rubber bands are used by fishermen to properly ban the claws of the lobsters after they have been inspected. 
This is done to prevent the lobsters from hurting each other while they are being transported. To ensure that the lobsters retain their moisture, they are carefully placed inside of specialized containers that are lined with damp seaweed or wet fabric. Through the use of ice, these containers are kept at a low temperature, which guarantees that the lobsters will remain alive and in good health throughout their journey to the coast. In order to guarantee the highest possible level of freshness before being brought to the market, lobsters might be treated while they are still alive. Using cold water, they are stunned in a gentle manner, and the rubber bands that are attached to their claws are removed with great care. The lobsters are then placed into mesh bags, immediately frozen, and coated with a thin layer of water to retain their freshness. This process is repeated until the lobsters have been manually sorted according to size and weight. At long last, the lobsters are packaged and placed in freezers, where they remain until they are ready to be shipped to every region of the world. For the purpose of transforming lobsters into a wide range of items that can be exported and distributed, each lobster is transported with great care and weighed in great detail to guarantee that the final product is of the highest possible quality for the consumers. Immediately following the sorting procedure, the lobsters are sent through an HPP machine to ensure that each and every lobster is still alive before the processing begins. The lobsters are processed in a matter of seconds by the HPP machine, which applies pressures of up to 50000 pounds per square inch. This is the strategy that is both the quickest and the most humane way to handle lobsters. Once the lobsters have been processed by the HPP machine, they are prepared to move on to the subsequent stage of the procedure. Cleaning the tails and removing the intestines is the first step that specialists take in order to guarantee that the end product is clean. The processing plant is divided into two primary areas. One is dedicated to live lobsters, and the other is dedicated to prepared items. When it comes to the production of goods, live lobsters are utilized in the production of frozen tails, raw meat, and full frozen lobsters. In the meantime, things that have been made are being cooked and packaged so that they are ready for customers. In brine tanks, lobster tails are cleaned and disinfected. Once the freezing procedure is complete, they are arranged according to size. Each individual lobster tail is subjected to a minimum of four quality inspections prior to being packaged. For the purpose of ensuring that each individual lobster part is of high quality, other portions of the lobster, such as the claws and the body, are prepared according to certain recipes and at specified times. Following the completion of the cooling process, the lobster meat is taken and meticulously examined in order to exclude any leftover shells and cartilage. This is an extremely difficult process that calls for a great deal of experience and expertise in order to be carried out in a timely and effective manner. Each and every piece of lobster meat is vacuum sealed and then put through the HPP machine once again in order to extend its natural shelf life, hence maintaining the quality and safety of the food. Every dish that features lobster not only satisfies the taste buds, but also demonstrates the level of complexity that went into its preparation, unquestionably deserving of its position as a star attraction at any feast. Lobster is a food option that is both nutritious and valuable due to the fact that it contains a high amount of unsaturated fatty acids and has a low cholesterol level. This helps minimize the risk of cardiovascular diseases. From the setting of traps and sorting to the implementation of a closed-loop processing system, the voyage of American lobster combines many aspects of tradition and technology to guarantee the highest possible quality. Lobster is a sign of tenacity and creativity, in addition to being a sumptuous dish. If you are someone who enjoys hearing fascinating tales about the adventures that food processing takes, then you should definitely subscribe to the channel so that you may see more of our upcoming videos.